Two-time MVP Giannis played and the Bucks attacked the paint early with their star back on the court after missing a week with a hyperextended knee. Earl, Milwaukee actually lost the points in the paint for the entire game, but in the first quarter, that was their approach to try to get ahead. Yeah, you, can, you can tell in the first quarter they came out and tried to attack the paint, put pressure on the back line of the defense. But the Suns' backcourt, the non-pattern backcourt of the Suns, changed the momentum. Right here you see Giannis, a great point forward, Coach Mitch. He's too small, meaning Lopez throw it over the top. He's going about Crowder. He's too small. He catches and keep it high. I like those quick post up and transitions because the team is not allowed to set up their defense. Lopez converts the two. The tie began to shift. Right here, if you're going to put DeAndre Aiden on Giannis, you have to create a vertical action. And right here, Devin Booker cannot help. We don't leave strong side corner three because that is a point per possession. Plus, Giannis has a left lane. He attacks, get a piece of the paint, get the shoulder bump, and he finishes once again plus two in the paint. When you play against Giannis and Milwaukee Bucks, you have to build not one wall, but yet two. The first wall is right there, Chris Paul. Second wall was Crowder. We call this point five basketball. Pass it, move it. The ball always moves quick on the pass, and anyone can run. P.J. Tucker with the end one finish in the paint. And right here in the mid post, this is the Carl Malone post. Coach Mitchell, you had a face him. I never <laughs> did, maybe a couple of times, a couple of screens. But right there, Devin Booker cannot rotate, attack that left side, and you finish at the paint once again with the dunk. Points per possession, and you see the score. They're keeping it close. Hezzy, hezzy, attacking right here. This is grown man basketball. Book is too small to rotate, boxes and elbows, put that shoulder in his waist, you finish above the rim. That is a tough challenge for DeAndre Aiden, but on the other end, DeAndre Aiden was very efficient, finishing above the rim. He's been excellent. Milwaukee Bucks have to continue to emphasize the paint. They have to be at least a plus 10, that it cannot be a negative two, which they were in game one. And Giannis, a big part of that, Sam, he was immediately impactful. 20 and 17 rebounds from the two-time MVP. How impressive was he after missing that week? I mean, hyperextended knee, the game time decision sure looked great. Chris, unbelievable. I didn't think he would play, and I didn't think he should play, but when you watched him play and you watch how fluid he was, he was Giannis. The thing about it, he was getting to his spots, he was getting to the hole, and for Giannis, he has to be able to get to the basket because that's his game. He is not a standstill jump shooter, but when he gets below the free throw line and he gets to use his strength, and Earl said it, grown man basketball, you're talking about the power forward of the Bucks. He's the biggest guy on the floor, and he's throwing his weight around and his muscle around, so... To Earl's point, Milwaukee's got to use their size. Phoenix is a small basketball team, relatively. Milwaukee's got to use their size because, to me, when they match down with Phoenix, now Phoenix has the advantage.